بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہیلو ایوری ون ویلکم بیک ٹو دا پی ایل تھری ہنڈریڈ ایگزام پریپریشن سیریز ویئر وی آر ایکسپلورنگ دا تھرڈ لرننگ پیتھ ویژولائز اینڈ اینالائز دا ڈیٹا ان دس ویڈیو وی ول کنٹینیو ایکسپلورنگ دا ٹاپک فارمیٹ اینڈ کنفگر ویژولائزیشنس سو ناؤ لیٹس ہیو اے لک ایٹ دا نیکسٹ سیٹ آف ویژولائزیشنس وچ آر دا لائن اینڈ ایریا چارٹس اینڈ اٹ آلسو ہیز دا ریبن چارٹ ایز ویل سو لیٹ می جسٹ کلک آن دا سمپل لائن چارٹ ہیئر and this is going to open up the the visual which which is the line chart visual and now i am going to first build this visual and explore the multiple options here so here i have pulled in what is the most important bit in a line chart and this is the date field so remember we said that line charts are useful when we are once we are looking at trends so we have put on the x axis the date and in the y axis i have put in the total cost and this is the visualization that that uh, is made for the line chart on the x axis you can see the dates and on the y axis you can see the total cost and the rest of the portion related to the formatting with the uh, with the title subtitle and the axis that is exactly the same so now let's see what is the purpose of of these uh, other fields and let's bring the total quantity that we have already seen uh, in the previous visualizations in the y axis so let's see what happens so as soon as i bring in the total quantity we see the same impact or the same effect that we have seen for the bar chart visuals and here you can see that the color is a bit um, Uh, confusing here but you can clearly see that i can see the total quantity being plotted as well as the total cost so you you are going to see the same effect that we saw for the bar chart that we would have one line for the total cost and one line for the total quantity there is another option here that we did not see for the bar charts and this is the secondary y axis so let's just pull the total quantity out of here and just pull the total quantity into the secondary y axis so now if you have a look here now the visualization has two y axis so here is the first y axis and this is the second y axis and you can see that each color the the color of the of the line corresponds to each of these axis so if you want to have a uh, um, multiple y axis then you can use this option similarly the option for legend and small multiples is going is is exactly the same as we saw for the bar chart so so i'm not going to go into uh, into these option and explain what these options are same goes for the tool tips as well similarly if we come to the formatting area here most of the options are exactly the same as we have seen in some of the earlier ones instead of the bars now we have the lines so you can easily go and format the line as per your own requirement you can change the color you can change the line style and you can change the stroke width etc so these are similar to what we saw for the bars then we have the option of marker so this is a an option that we would, that we would explore so here if i just turn this thing on you can see that there are markers that are there on the for each point of your line chart so if you can you can just go and you can change the shape of these markers as well so there are plenty of options that are available so this could be a useful option if you have less number of points but here it it is only going to add to the clutter in the data then we have the options of the data label so again this option is going to put the data label for all the points so here if you just expand this visual you are going to see that more and more uh, points are actually added here for the for the data label so here you can just go and configure this option as well and then there is another option which is the series label so if i just uh, put this uh, visual expand this visual here so you can see that here you are seeing something related to the total cost and total um, total quantity should also appear but as the visual is very cluttered so you are not going to actually see this option here but again we have the option that instead of putting something in the legend we can put a series label 
where we have multiple uh, multiple um, lines so these are some of the formatting options which are there for the for the line chart and for the reference line and error bars we are going to explore these in an other video next we have another visual within the same family and this is the area chart so if i select this line chart and just click on the area chart here then the only difference that i can see between the line chart and an area chart is that the area under the each of these lines so each of these two lines it gets shaded so this is another way of looking at the data so you all you can do is that you can go and make a line chart into an area chart but other than that none of the options that we saw in terms of the formatting and in terms of the options required to build the visual there is absolutely no change between the line chart and the area chart another visual that we find here is next to the line uh, next to the area chart is the stacked area chart so now let me just change this into a stacked area chart and now you are going to see a little bit of a difference between the last one and this one so what has actually happened is that instead of plotting the values like we saw for the line chart and for the area chart with the area under the lines highlighted here we are seeing something which is different here we are seeing a stacking of one visual on top of the other visual so that is why you are going to see interesting values here although this is an this this does not make any sense because we are looking at total cost and quantity which are different but let me just pull in something which is similar and try to reduce the number of data points on the x axis so that this has more clarity and you can easily see the stacking so now what i have done is that i have changed the visualization a little bit so now i have pulled in in the x axis instead of the date i have pulled in the start of the month so my dates have been reduced to just one date per month and in the y axis i have pulled in my cost so the cost is the same but now instead of the total quantity i have split the the visual in terms of the gender so in the so in the legend you can see the the gender and this is the normal area chart so this is a normal area chart so here you can see that the one color is showing the male uh, cost the contribution of the male gender towards the cost and the other color is showing the contribution of the female gender from the cost but again you are going to see the values have been plotted over one another so wherever you can see the the value of uh, female higher you are going to see the value of female higher so like in this case we have the contribution of female higher than the male so you are going to you are seeing something which is very similar to a line chart so if i just had a line chart it would have just two of these lines and you could see it just like a simple line chart but if i now convert this into a stacked area chart like we were exploring just a few seconds ago here you are going to see that the values are stacked on top of one another so here if i just put my mouse here so here it is showing that the female contribution is is 9000 but the value corresponding on the x on the y axis is 20000 this is because the value is stacked on top of this male value so here the male value is the first value and then the female value is stacked on top of it and that is the pattern that you are going to follow for all of this so this uh, this type of a visual has a special requirement where where we are not interested in looking at the actual values but we want to see the a comparison between the different shares so it is just for the visual understanding especially in terms of project management you are going to see some of these charts and some of the applications of this uh, uh, stacked area chart so these are the three visuals which are related and we have seen the three visuals which are the line chart then the area chart and the stacked area chart in the next video we are going to have a look at the two visuals uh, which are the combo chart both of these are co correspond to the combo chart and then a combination of 
a trend and a comparison that we saw for the ribbon chart so we are going to explore uh, these charts in the next video so that's all for this particular video and i'll catch you up in the next one